Welcome back to Capital Gains, where we delve into the world of finance and investments. Today, we have an intriguing story that's been making headlines in the financial world. It involves none other than Michael Burry, the famed investor known for his contrarian bets and the star of The Big Short. In 2008, Michael Burry famously predicted the housing market crash, a decision that earned him and his investors millions. Fast forward to 2023, and he's back in the spotlight, making a massive bet against the stock market. This year, the stock stock market has been on a tear, especially driven by the technology sector. However, as we enter the historically weakest period of the year for stocks, August and September, we've seen some early signs of market turbulence. The SPDR S&P 500 ETF and the Invesco QQQQ ETF have already faced declines. But what's really capturing attention is Michael Burry's recent move, where he invested a staggering $1.6 billion in a bet against the market. Today, we'll dive deep into to Michael Burry's investment strategy, explore his background, and discuss the implications of his latest actions. But remember, while Burry's bets have a history of success, it's crucial to consider what this means for the average investor. So let's begin with a closer look at the current state of the stock market in 2023 and the historical context of this market weakness. To understand the significance of Michael Burry's recent bet against the stock market, we need to first grasp the current state of the market in 2023. This year, the stock stock market has been on a tear, largely led by the technology sector, which has seen impressive gains. Tech giants have been at the forefront, with companies like Apple, Amazon, and Google parent Alphabet driving market indices to record highs. But as we venture into August and September, historical data going back more than three decades reveals a notable trend. These two months tend to be the weakest for the benchmark S&P 500 index. That's right, for reasons that aren't entirely clear, August and September have traditionally witnessed market turbulence, causing concerns among investors. As a matter of fact, as of just a couple of weeks into August, we've already seen signs of this trend repeating. The SPDR S&P 500 ETF, SPY, is down over 2% this month, and the technology-focused Invesco QQQ ETF, QQQQ, has declined by over 3%. This has led many to question whether the market is on the brink of a more significant decline and this is where Michael Burry's recent actions come into focus. Let's explore Cyan Asset Management and Michael Burry's market position. Cyan Asset Management, led by renowned investor Michael Burry of the big short fame, recently filed a revealing 13F report with the SEC. The report disclosed a substantial bearish move, a $1.6 billion investment in put options against major ETFs like CPY and QQQ, signaling a bet on a potential market decline. This could be significant as it reflects a bearish outlook on the market's future performance. Michael Burry's history includes a bold stance in the market, highlighted by his role in The Big Short film, where he made a significant contrarian bet before the 2008 financial crisis. He purchased securities based on the belief that the housing market was flooded with fraudulent behavior and unsustainable excess, despite skepticism and criticism from the financial world. When the housing market indeed crashed, Burry and his investors reaped substantial rewards, with an estimated $100 million personally for Burry and $700 million for Cyan's investors. Afterward, he shut down his hedge fund, Cyan Capital, and founded Cyan Asset Management for his personal investments. In recent years, Burry has been active on social media, expressing opinions on various topics and often backing them up with investments. However, his recent bearish bet against the stock market was made without commentary, leaving his actions to speak for themselves. Now that we've explored Michael Burry's background and his significant success in the big short, let's delve into his recent investment moves in the second quarter of 2023. But before we do, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying this video. Anyway, let's get back to the video. In addition to his bold bet against the stock market, Michael Burry's investment activity during the second quarter of 2023 reveals some interesting insights into his approach and expectations. During Q2, he opened new positions in several stocks, indicating that he still sees value in specific areas of the market. Some of his notable investments include consumer-focused stocks like Expedia, MGM Resorts, and CVS Health. These positions suggest his confidence in the consumer sector. But Burry didn't stop there. He also made some strategic bets on the energy sector by taking new positions in companies like Next Tier Oilfield Solutions and Crescent Energy, among others. 
This indicates that he might be expecting oil and gas prices to remain elevated for the rest of 2023. His moves in the energy sector align with his reputation for spotting unconventional opportunities. However, it's important to note that while Burry added to his portfolio in certain areas, he also reduced his exposure to other sectors. For instance, he significantly reduced science exposure to Chinese stocks by selling every share of Alibaba and JD.com. This decision suggests caution regarding investments in Chinese companies due to ongoing concerns. He also exited several regional bank stocks, which is not surprising given the turmoil in that sector earlier in the year. This series of investment moves indicates that Michael Burry is actively managing his portfolio with a keen eye on opportunities and potential risks. As we've seen, Michael Burry's recent investment decisions are bold, strategic, and carry significant weight in the financial world. However, it's essential to approach his moves with caution especially if you're the average investor. For most investors, the primary goal is to build a diversified stock portfolio to fund their long-term financial goals, such as retirement or education. This is in contrast to Michael Burry, who is already wealthy and treats investing as both his job and hobby. Burry's career and experience allow him to make frequent changes to his investment positions, often making outsized short-term bets on the direction of the market. However, this approach isn't realistic or suitable for most people. Buying quality stocks and holding them for the long term remains a proven strategy for generating positive returns. While Michael Burry's bet against the stock market might align with historical market weakness in August and September, it's essential to approach this with a different perspective. If the market does experience a short-term decline, it can be viewed as an opportunity for the average investor to buy more quality stocks for the long run, capitalizing on the principle of buying low. While it's exciting to follow the moves of Wall Street's heavy hitters, it's crucial for everyday investors to stay focused on their individual financial goals and long-term investment strategies. The financial journey of a contrarian like Michael Burry might not align with your investment objectives and risk tolerance. The stock market can be unpredictable, and even seasoned investors like Burry face risks. For the average investor, consistency and patience often lead to success. Before we go, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more financial financial insights and updates. Feel free to like this video if you found it informative and share it with others who might benefit from this knowledge. Thank you for joining us today and we look forward to sharing more financial wisdom with you in our upcoming videos.